In this video, I will show you how to stream live from your computer to your video panel. So to get started, you're going to want to use software like OBS, which is free. And so first things first, we're going to go ahead and log in to our video panel with the login credentials that were provided when you signed up for an account. You will then need to go to Utilities, Quick Links, and here's the information that you need. The client live streaming info right here. So we're going to need to copy the RTMP link and the stream key to input into our OBS software. So let's do that. I'm going to copy my link here. And then when I go back to my OBS software, I need to go into the settings. So the stream settings are going to be found under the settings section down here. And from here, we're going to click on stream. So as you can see, I had that previously, so I would be pasting my link there. And if I go back, I will find my key right underneath. We'll copy that to the clipboard. Go back to my OBS settings and paste that key right in there. Now that I have my link and my key in there, I will say OK. And before I start uh, streaming, I need to tell OBS where my video source is. So I need to add that as a source. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this plus button under the sources section. Here you have a variety of options in terms of sources to add. I'm looking for a video capture device. Click on that. You can name it if you want to. If you have multiple devices, this helps in that regards. I'm just going to leave it as default and say OK. Here's where I'm going to choose my video device. In this case, I have two cameras. It's I have my webcam from my laptop and an external webcam, a USB camera. So I'm going to choose my USB camera for this example. So as an example, I have this glittery light display here, which I will use for this demonstration. And as you can see, it is going to focus in just a bit. There it is. Um, I will say OK. And here, what you can do is just stretch your video to fit your canvas. You may need to adjust your base canvas from the OBS settings. But I'm going to adjust mine now here. So I have a video capture device already added to my OBS software. Um, there is no audio in here at the moment. I have it muted, but I could turn on the audio input so that my live stream includes video and audio. You can click on this little gear here next to the mic aux section here and go to the properties, which is where you can then adjust or select your audio input for your microphone. So if you had other audio inputs, you would then choose them here. For this example, I'm going to keep it as my MacBook microphone and say OK. Um, next. I would then click on Start Streaming. And as you can see, we are now live. You can see that from the bottom section over here. We are now live streaming to our video panel. If I go back to my video panel, under the Client Live Streaming section, you will see that you have a Panel Video Player link here. If I click on that, that's going to take me to my web page that includes my live stream. So I will turn off the microphone so that my voice doesn't keep coming through. All right, so as you can see, the video is just streaming now with no audio. But if I go back to OBS, you have the option to turn on your microphone if you wanted audio, which most of the times you probably will want audio to be live streaming through your live event. So we added the video capture uh, settings there. We added the server link and the key, which is needed in order to stream to your video server. Um, and then after that, when we clicked on the panel video player link, it took us to this link, which you can share with your audience. It's essentially a sort of web page that's included with your video panel that allows viewers to tune into your live video stream. And as you can see, this is live streaming right now 
from my webcam that I have configured through my OBS software here as a video capture device. And so once you have that up and running, you could, like I said, share your video player link, or you could go to widgets on the left and paste a live stream widget onto anywhere on your website. If you have a personal website, you can definitely include this exact web player that you see in the panel um, onto your website by pasting these two pieces of code into your website. Okay, So that is how you stream live into your video panel using OBS. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can contact us at support at allenhosting.com.